Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into Gainside PX, a powerful platform designed to help businesses understand user behavior, create in-app engagements, and drive product adoption. Especially if you're looking to improve your product experience and customer engagement, you've come to the right place. Because Gainside PX provides deep insights into how users interact with your product, allowing you to make data-driven decisions that enhances user experience. Whether you're a product manager, customer success professional, or part of the UX team, this tool has something for you. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to visit the official website, which is going to be gainsight.com. From here, you can click the schedule a demo. If you do, there's going to be an option here to drive durable growth to build an unstoppable business with Gainsight. All you have to do is provide the, all the information here. Or you can simply go to the free trial, wherein all you have to do is provide the email click and continue and follow the on-screen instructions and then now you may easily notice that Gainside px is structured in different sections to help you manage user engagement analytics and product adoption on the left side panel you have the dashboard audience explorer accounts explorer analytics engagements knowledge center bot product mapper segments and administration we're gonna deal with each of these sections later but for now we're going to click the create a new product all right now this is going to be something that enter a product name say for example this is let's create a product description and click the create button Now, this may take a little while depending on your active internet connection. If in case you can't access Gainside PX, you might want to need to use a VPN because Gainside PX is employing a restricted geo uh, for some location and region. So if you happen to be part of that specific area, you might want to need to use a VPN. All I have to do is enter a URL for this channel or enable. Now, after doing this, you, need, you see you have four options on the top corner. The web app, the website, and of course, the mobile and desktop. For mobile, you see you have these supported platforms and frameworks such as Android, iOS, React Native, Native Script, Flutter, and .NET MAUI. For a desktop though, you have the .NET. And if you don't have the uh, URL for this channel, you might want to skip this for now. Copy the tag key and you have the code here as an example. All right. So let's talk about the dashboard right here because this is a section that provides an overview of the product usage, engagement, and key metrics. All right. Click the let's begin section right here so you can help personalize your experience you have the option to choose from the product manager until executive all right now we're going to be using this as an education click on next and then maybe we're going to be using this for many communications click on save now you can create your first dashboard you can select from the dashboard templates the dashboard templates are here you have the adoption you can use all of these active users, active accounts, average days active, or feature KPI. The onboarding, which is going to be new users, new account, active users, and guide performance. You have the retention, trial, and the custom dashboard. All right. For example, we're going to be using the uh, KPIs. We're going to use this. Click on create. It'll load up the dashboard where it will help you track how many users interact with your product over time. Of course, you can customize the widget by adding the widgets here. For example, this, click on add. 
Now, once you customize the widget, you can focus on specific KPIs, for example, active users or conversion rates. Now, after going to the dashboard, we have the Audience Explorer. This section allows you to analyze individual users and their behavior right here. You can put in the first name. You can bookmark this and export it to CSV or export all columns. The view user details such as the inferred city, first name, region, which is kind of useful for customer support, sales, and user segmentations. Now, the next section is going to be the account explorer it is kind of similar to the audience explorer right here but it focuses on accounts or organizations instead of the individual users all right you see it's kind of like a similarly you can bookmark and export it to csv but it's kind of useful for the uh for the b2b businesses to track adoption across different teams or departments now if you go back to the analytics here This section provides detailed reports on user behavior and feature adoption. You have the audience, features, and engagement. If you want to create a report, you have multiple options here. Are you going to create a report for adoption, retention analysis, path analyzer, funnel, and query builder? For example, we're going to be choosing the adoption, no data available for select and filter. All right. And click on the save as and export to save csv and you have with the uh, uh, filter on the duration is it going to be like feb february march april and is it going to be the last month and you can set the uh, specific schedule and click on apply the next thing is going to be the engagement this section believe it or not will allow you to create and manage in-app engagements like guides engagement status survey and a lot more if you want to click and create a new engagement for example you have the web app mobile and desktop so you have all these you see is it going to be a guide a slider dialogue email and survey click on create you will be forwarded here wherein you can select the target audience The editor it's like the a template picker so we're going to be choosing maybe a custom based guide or if you want to just not make it technical let's go for the default template you see you have all these hero dialogue classic hotspot video dialogue for example this and click on apply all right now, you can target specific user segments with personalized engagement such as the video dialogue. It will help improve onboarding, feature discovery, and of course, retention. All right, you can edit in in-app and a lot more. Click on the schedule. You have all these and click on launch once you have finalized all of the information here. But of course, you need to spe so specify the audience rules. Once you've configured that out, Click the uh, save button here. All right, engagement save. So we have successfully created the uh, engagement via the in app. Now, the next thing is going to be the knowledge center bot. Basically, it's a self service chat bot that provides with on demand help inside your product. It's kind of like you can skip this. It, it, these are going to be like bots and articles. All right. If you want to create a new article, you're welcome to do that. Put in the name. You can put in an image if you want. Customize it, resize, and put in a link. And then click on save. It's really a straightforward process from here. And then the last section is going to be the product mapper. Now, the product mapper right here. It's essentially a tool allowing you to define and track features within your application. It helps product teams monitor which features users engage with. You can map UI elements to specific features, all right, right here, without needing engineering changes, which is essential for tracking feature adoption and user behavior. The last section is going to be the segments. 
this will allow you to group users based on specific attributes or behaviors you can create segment based on the defined roles or if you want to import csv you are welcome to do that if you click the defined rules again you can select a target audience these are going to be some of your options the users account product mapper and custom events depending on your preferences all right so i i leave this to you to explore and experiment the last section is going to be the administration it's just a section where you manage inner integrations security and account settings for example if you go to the integrations right here all right these are going to be some of the productivity integrations flag full stories and desk segment amazon web services and alarm so you have all these you can experiment and ensure that gain inside px is configured properly for your organization all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one